I guess we're back. Um, I'm all alone, unfortunately, but uh, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, unfortunately, I have to replace Sammy for from uh, uh, for this run, and then I'll be doing my next run uh, right after that. So I get to do a lot of people card. Uh, start with HP two, and then we'll do HP three. But uh, I guess uh, we'll get started. Unfortunately, Sammy's been having internet issues, and uh, they scheduled my run right after, just in case this happened, so that I can do this one. And I will try to keep you guys all awake while I try to keep myself awake, because I have had almost no sleep this weekend. But let's get started in 3, 2, 1, and go. So... HP2 all wizard cards. Actually, one of... <laughs> I'm not alone. Uh, I'm, a, I'm alone and mostly alone in this call. There, there's two deafened people. We don't really have a host right now because real life circumstances occur. Um, so, HP2 all wizard cards. We need to collect all 101 wizard cards, which requires all 50 bronze cards, all 40 silver cards, and the 11 gold cards that are, are unlocked in the gold card challenge once we get our silvers. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I'll survive. We got we got dabs in chat. We got people in chat. Um, So, we've seen we've seen a decent amount of HP2 this, this event, right? I, I did all chests, and then people did runs yesterday while I was away. Um, So, I won't I won't bore you guys with the specifics of how to boost and all that. Uh, hopefully we, we can all understand this together. Uh, this is a pretty... I, I, I'll say this is a pretty fun category though. All wizard cards. Because um, it's, it's kind of like Hundo Light. In the sense that you're doing all these cool things. Going to the secrets and all that. And there's some cool routing. Uh, because of the Hesses. Uh... But at the same time, you don't all have this hellscape of RNG with the the dueling matches. And there are no Quidditch matches, no Quidditch warps in this run. Um, so it's a it's a nice chill category. Very little RNG, lots of skill based. Um, and you get to do a lot more than something like uh, Warpless, which Warpless has... Uh, no, Warpost doesn't have them. It has like the same RNG as this run. Alright, so we're going up to Riktu. We'll of course do the arrows and then we'll start collecting more cards. We already collected our first card in Willow, but we'll hopefully get all 101 and not forget them. And I say hopefully because I was not the intended runner of this run, so I didn't actually de-rust, but hopefully... Uh, my brain, which is on three hours of sleep in the last 40, uh, can remember where all the cards are. Uh, I'm sure it will. Maybe it will just forget the order that I have to get some of them in, but hopefully not. Right. I got a fake input in, uh, Rick 2 during the all chests run yesterday. Or, I guess it's now Friday, two days ago for me now. Uh... So hopefully we don't get another one here. The other nice thing about uh, AWC over Hundo is you don't have to worry about gold times. You don't have to get secrets or stars. You just just grab cards and go, man. It's nice. I will 100% remember everything. You're you're probably right. I'm on like my second wind of a. Uh, of energy at this point. Throughout the day I was pretty tired working on only three hours of sleep but since I've gotten back home after driving for 90 minutes it's been uh, I've been fine but we'll see how I am by the end of HP3 because we're doing I'm doing two runs in a row here. But uh, once HP3 is around we should have some company to keep us entertained but uh, we'll see if they wake up in time <laughs> hopefully 
All right, so this is glitched AWC. That much is obvious from the boosts that I did in, in uh, Willow and the wall clips. Um, there is a glitchless AWC on the category extension boards, but we like going fast, so we're gonna do some glitching. We need to trap these uh, fire crabs to get a card here. Go. We want to make sure we trap that snail early enough so that these doors open before we get to them. Yes, bingo bongo. I am pretty good at bingo, but I normally do bingo when I'm not sleep deprived. Alright, more cards. We love cards. I I was supposed to do the right side crab first, but it's not that big a deal. Alright, well, I actually haven't done this run in a while, to be honest. I don't actually know when's the last time. I think my PB's from over a year ago, so it's been quite a while. Should be doing Minecraft. <laughs> I've actually been on, like, a kick, another kick of watching Minecraft videos, and I've been tempted to start playing again, but I need to resist, because I have actual work to do, lol, imagine. That's why this week has been so busy in this weekend, imagine actually having to do work. should grab I've been tempted at points but I haven't I once attempted to uh, get uh, get decent at the uh, all advancements of all things in Minecraft uh, but I quickly gave up on that dream of being good at that I think Nixo has run it. I don't think Flo has. I don't know that Flo has ever played Minecraft, to be honest. Maybe he's played it. I'll consider it, though. Like, I have thought about it a, a bit, actually, but there's just so many other runs I want to do. You know, just knowing all the full series is, takes up a lot of your time. You can resist everything but temptation. It should grab. And we'll get out of Rick 2 just like that. Uh, so, one thing, I don't think I mentioned this during all chests and don't know if it's been mentioned, but uh, there's a end level trigger there that we use and that doesn't make sure that we don't actually get our house points for uh, finishing the level and what that causes is that it defaults to giving us house points until we're uh we have more than slytherin so it guarantees us either best or second best rng in this case i got best which is nice uh 10 seconds faster can't complain and the reason why you can get best or second best is because oh i don't think i get this here i think i get this on the way to forest i don't remember though um is because when it gives you house points, uh, it gives you house points until you're above Slytherin. But when it gives you the house points, it gives you between 1 and 10. Uh, and then it just repeats until you have more. And if you're within 5 of Slytherin, then you're gonna, you're, you spend the least amount of time in the bean bonus room, which is 10 seconds. But if you're uh, between 6 and 10 points of, of Slytherin, then you spend 20 seconds in the bean bonus room instead. So that's what causes the difference there. <laughs> Alright, so this is the only Quidditch we're going to see in this run, assuming I don't make any routing errors, which is nice because uh, dying in Quidditch matches or is really annoying uh, to do fast in things like any percent, and uh, then winning Quidditch matches is annoying 
annoying in Hundo because if Gryffindor scores, you just lose 10 seconds straight away. And so not having to deal with any Quidditch is optimal, in my opinion. Alright, yeah, I was not supposed to get that card. That's good. Don't know why I lost half a second there, but I'm gonna not complain. <laughs> Okay, we're on our way to potions. We need to make sure we don't soft lock. No cards during this section, fortunately. But then we'll head to Scourge, and in Scourge we'll co start collecting more cards. Played that a bit safe so that I don't soft lock. So it was actually kind of closer than I thought it was. <laughs> All right. People card. Everybody loves people card, right? If we just chant people card, I'm sure people will show up, right? Right, right. People card. People card. People card. That was close. Yes, people card. We also have Crackle Peep. Crackle Peep is upside down people card because it's people card backwards. Great emote, not gonna lie. Is literally people card backwards. Försök inte tänka på strunt prata om hemligheternas kammare. Is great. There's no capital. Uh, uh, some whoever made it on a seven TV or whatever messed it up. It's sad. It, it's actually great because it's literally just Draco, Draco Malfoy, and then Peep. <laughs> the fact that it works out like that is fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. No, no, it's fine. Flo should... He, he did tell me he'll wake up for HP3, but uh, we'll see if he actually does. But it, we'll be fine. I'll be fine. Alright, hopefully we get no Scourge fake inputs. We want to get through these boring sections of the run as fast as possible. Because if I stay on them for too long, I might fall asleep. I'm kidding. Partially. People card. People card. <laughs> See, the Europeans could be waking up right now and just watching some nice people card. God damn it, man. All the fake inputs always mean... Nothing you can do about that. Sometimes the game is just like, nope, you're gonna fail this arrow and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Not even gonna let them enjoy their morning. Get the hell in here, host. So that lost me 18 seconds, unfortunately. Right. Start collecting more cards. We go into a wall walk here and jump down. Ah, I can skip that ledge gap, but that's okay. It's too early in your but yeah, it's, it is 6.30 in most of it, and 5.30 in the UK. But, uh, it's Potterthon, guys. And we got people card. What more could you ask for? The answer is you could ask for Sammy's commentary, because it would be way better than mine, but, uh... Fortunately, internet problems, so you have to, you have to get me, sad. And because of sleep deprivation, I have, like, no energy, but that's okay, guys. We're gonna get through the run. Alright, fortunately, we have to come down here. For that card, it's rather long. 
but it's okay. <laughs> Everyone is goaded. True, true. Most people are, in fact, goaded. Alright, we're gonna use our pause casting here to get this guy over here quicker. I actually need the card. <laughs> I thought it was all chests for a second, I just needed to open the chest. But no, it's all cards, all wizard cards. Oh no. Two of them. Um, is there any mods here? You got this. Okay. Oh yeah, you got the stream PC. I could, I could do it, but I'm in the run. In the run. <laughs> Let's go, Potterthon best mod. Alright, one more card in Scourge. It's up here. If we want to boost up. Unfortunately, that didn't work. So we'll go up here. There we go. That time it did. And we're going to get our first Hesk here. But we're actually going to cancel this Hesk by uh, activating a cutscene while we're in the animation. And that will skip the animation. Just like that. And that means I have not forgotten a bronze card yet, which is nice. You get uh, a Hess animation uh, every time you collect 10 of a, ten of each variety of card, other than gold. Um, so we'll get it at 20 bronze, and 30 bronze, and 40 bronze, and 50 bronze, and that once we get up to 10 silvers, 20 silvers, 30 silvers, and 40 silvers. And we wrote our cards in such a way that uh, we can abuse the animation of most of them and skip it like that or uh if you jump into the card as you collect it harry will actually slide on the ground while he's doing his animation and uh so if we can't cancel it with a cutscene or something uh we like to do that and hopefully use the entire length of the animation and save a bit of time that way all right so we're heading into bicorn here We'll be getting this card later because of that Hess routing. Um, it's better to get it on the way to Goyle. Right, let's get this boost first try, hopefully. Uh, how did that not grab? Oh my god, please, game. Thank you. Uh, I love the game. 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 I hate the game. I hate the game. I hate the game. I'm actually very surprised that the first one didn't grab. I'm not gonna lie. Is this worth it? Yeah, this is still worth it. To hit those guys before they get too far away. Of course, if you. Uh, do better, then they're closer. Ah, it's not gonna go in, is it? Oh my god, it did. That animation opening. Let's go. Bruton T. Hulk. Sounds like a great morning. Not gonna lie. Uh, did I fail? No, okay. Get this Wawak here to skip this uh, puzzle here. Saves a bit of time. Jump up here so that we can. Grab the card faster. Grab the card faster. Whoa. I actually need to kind of make sure that I'm not being too, too loud because it is 12.30 in the morning and I have roommates. Whoa. But, uh, 
We'll get through this. It's okay. Alright, that's the last car card of Bicorn. So all we need to do is boost up and out. Ooh, that graph really. Now we're, um, after we do our dueling against Malfoy, uh, we're gonna head to Defendo, which is arguably one of the hardest, if not the hardest, levels in AWC. Because you do a lot of out-of-bounds boosts, um, which can deal you a lot of damage. But thankfully, I did a very similar route in all chests uh, the other day. Uh, which you do with actually one health bar instead of two, so it's actually harder in all chests. <clears throat> Alright, so this is uh, another Hess here. We can't cancel that one, uh, and there's no way to route it so that we could cancel it without losing a lot of time. So that's the best we can do. We use the, uh, the slide forward there to make progress towards the exit. Alright, get our duel in here, and then we'll head straight to defend now. <clears throat> so this is kind of sort of like at the end of early game in AWC is Defendo Arrow Keys. You're about a third of the way into the run. Um, you've gotten a few cards. That was really fun. Um, but now you're you're starting to get into... Uh, well, you're, you're into Defendo, which is the beginning of the middle game. It's uh, one of the harder levels, as I've been saying. I'm going to grab one card here. You could grab this after Defendo. It doesn't actually matter in this category. But I've just always grab, have gotten it before Defendo. For consistency's sake. And that way, if I do forget it, I have a second chance. If I forget it when I'm supposed to get it after Defendo, then I don't have a second chance to get it. Will I get another fake input? I think I already have three this marathon in two rounds. I don't remember if I got one or two in all chests, but I got at least one. Alright, Defendo fake inputs are pretty unlikely though. Uh, Rick 2 and Scourge, they're way more common. Further you get into the the game, the least the less common they get. It's really weird, honestly. Like I think there's been like five or six fake inputs in SpongeBob ever. Uh, whereas, if you're running the game, it's not uncommon to get five fake inputs in Rick Two in a stream. And similarly for Scourge, like. Something like 20% of runs probably get one, I would say, on average. Alright, we'll go for the fast route here that saves like a whole second. Just because why not? It's fast. It's just a bit risky with our health, is the thing, but having the two health bars is nice. Like I said, we're doing most of the same boosts as we do in uh, uh, in all chests, except we have two health bars instead of one. So we need to get out of bounds here first. I think that's no damage. Nice. That's really nice to get no damage there. Why did I do this? Now I'm just getting an extra ledge grab. That was stupid of me. Don't know why I did that, honestly. So we get to skip the- I'm holding forward game. What the actual hell was that? I was literally holding two forward inputs. What? <laughs> that was- that was something else. 
Um, so we get to skip the whole church section, which is why we're coming to get this card now, and then we're gonna uh, skip to after the church section. Uh, once we do the rest of the level over here, we're gonna boost out of this area and walk into that area. But first we need to come over uh, towards this area to get a few cards. And then hopefully I don't fail the next out of bounds boost that I'm gonna do. Let's grab this card. We need to stand like kind of close here. If we go any further forward, we uh, hit a trigger that closes us in. That should be a medium. And we'll get there. Good. That's really good health. Then I just need to be a bit careful here to make sure I don't die in the pit. And we get a medium, and we can boost into a wall walk here and get here, which saves us from walking up and around. That was actually very well ex executed on my part, not gonna lie. You have to delay your cast at that block a bit because the uh, the wall takes a bit to open so that the block can actually fall through. Alright, and then finally our fourth and final out of bounds of Defendo is right here. This one's pretty easy as long as you got enough health. Uh, like you, you're likely to do it without taking any damage, but way safer if you like overboost that and just take damage. But there, I did the right amount, and we got out without any damage. Grab these bronze cards on either side of the tentacular room here. Thankfully, this door doesn't close, or else it might be kind of hard to get in. But not, not that hard, it shouldn't be. As if you hug the wall as you fall down, you almost certainly wouldn't activate a trigger if there was one. Because if you did, then uh, there would be a way of like, salt blocking very easily for casual. Lots of pause casting these sounds here. There we go. That's the end of Defendo. Once we get to the star over here. Not a bad Defendo, honestly. Considering I haven't run this category, I will take it for sure. Gonna head towards Boomslang. We're gonna get another Bronze card Hess here. Um, so if I get the Hess on this next card, that means I have not forgotten a Bronze card, which is good. Which means my brain is still functioning even at this low level of sleep. We're gonna set up the angle here, looking at this white dot. So that we slow down on the wall just enough so that we end like right at this corner. That angle wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. Like you do wanna look at the white dot, but I was positioned in the wrong place uh, at the start. So my angle was slightly off. I got a bit too, bit more stuck than I would have liked. Grab this card and actually enter Boomslang, which doesn't have that many cards. Very short level. Only be in there for a bit over, or a bit less than a minute, hopefully. Oh no, okay. That's perfectly fine. Should make this cycle, maybe. That was really close. <laughs> I don't know why that was so close. But we just barely made it. 
I thought I was gonna fall, honestly. Get up here. What am I doing? I can just... This isn't Hundo. I don't need to go to the secret. I mean, yeah, no. I, that was still what I was, like, supposed to do, but... It's fine. I almost did something wrong. Alright. Boom slang done. Now, this is, like, literally one of the only categories where we watch the entirety of the, uh, Dumbledore cutscene here coming up. Yeah. There's some categories, like, all chests, where we start, um, the, uh, cutscene, but then we warp out. Same for Hundo. But this one, we watch it all the way through, because we don't need to complete matches. Um, and because we have so many health bars, it's slower to die and just walk up. And because we need to get the cards, um, in the thing, the card in Defense Against the Dark Arts, it would be slower to get there again. Mr. Potter, what happened here? The warp only saves like a few seconds in, uh, in uh, all chests, and because we have the extra health bars here, it's, it's, uh, slower in this category. Professor, I love I can't... This here is not longer in my hands, Potter. Oh. Oh. Genom den här dörren. I swear I'm staying awake. Right. So we'll start here by activating the fox cutscene, and then we'll open the, the chest with the bronze wizard card. But before we activate the um, cutscene with the sorting hat, we need to come up and grab the silver. I am awake. Factually accurate. Am I conscious? Maybe. Then we're gonna hit this cutscene, but then it's delayed until... Uh, cutscene with Dumbledore actually starts, so we have enough time to go get the bronze card. And as long as you walk back towards Dumbledore like I did there, you get back to him in time so that you lose no time on the cutscene. Because, uh, the lines are still going on by the time Harry finds his way there. Professor. You had a lot of time to get the card. It's it's actually pretty pretty easy to make, which is nice. Okay, said the, this is the one category where we actually have to watch this, unfortunately. I guess also in like Glitches Hundo and Glitches AWC, but this is like, I think it's probably the only glitched category where we watch that entire cutscene. Must be. Because obviously any in Warpless, we don't go to Dumbledore's office at all. Uh, same for Glitches even. Uh, and then Hundo, we warp out. All chests, we warp out. Mm. Every other category would just skip it. Right. Grab the card in DADA, and we head towards uh, the dungeons. And this is when we're going to grab this card here, just so that our Hess lines up. We're going to get a Hess at the end of the level on Silvers, hopefully, if I haven't forgotten any. And we're going to be able to cancel that, not with a cutscene this time, but with a ledge grab. It's another way to cancel them. All right, I'm going to go for the Lumos Knight at the start here. Yeah, I mean, you get to see Dumbledore's office in Hundo and all that, but uh, you don't sit and watch the cutscene, you end up warping out. 
Oh, I just barely missed that snipe. I hit the, uh... Hit the window frame. Bit of damage. That's fine, though. So if I had, uh, hit that Lumos, then I wouldn't have to hit it here. I would already have it active, and I can just jump into the secret. Actually, no cards over on the left side here, so we can head straight towards the elevator, which we unfortunately do have to do, because there's a card there. I'm dead. I'm not dead if I can save it. Damn it. I grabbed the wrong side of that ledge. Just barely I grabbed the wrong one. I tried to save it with a ledge grab, but wasn't able to. Unfortunate. Wanted to grab this one so that I can boost all the way onto the roof here. And then that just saves a bit of walking when you're heading towards the elevator here. Instead of trapping the crab. Or pushing the crab away. There we go. Grab that card. Snails come raining down. What the heck? Yeah, not a huge time loss. Would be really mad if I was on like PvP or something, but no such luck in this run. Like the fake inputs and all that. We'll skip this crab as well with a wall walk, and then we'll be hitting these things from above. Uh, this is actually a lot harder than it looks to hit the right things here quickly. Um, from above, it's really annoying. And then, uh, since we hit the right ones, this is open, and we can come grab this card. All we got is one more silver card in the level. That's the one we're gonna hess off of. Alright. I'm not worried about my health because in Slytherin we get our 30th bronze card and so we'll get another health increase. We do this, this wall walk just because it's the fastest way to get around here. Drop down and boost up just so that we get further to the right. And then we need to open this chest and then stand on this side here that pushes the car to that side and we can jump into it that gives us the hess you can see that from the keys but because we jumped we actually grabbed a ledge there and we can boost out of it a lot happened there but hopefully i explained it pretty well <laughs> the hess animation puts you into the ledge grab and you boost out of it and uh that uh cancels the animation the ledge grab Yeah, that strat is, is really cool. I think I'm supposed to open this, actually, now that I think about it. Who found that? Uh, I don't remember. It might be... I want to say it's Sinna, but it might be Flo. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a strap for a while. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get this now. It's been a while, so I don't remember the exact route. I'm 90% sure I'm supposed to grab that card. Yeah, no, it, it wouldn't matter if I grab it now or later. So we definitely grab it now, because it's faster. Alright, just heading on our way to Slytherin. Slytherin has some decently tight cycles. Not as bad as Hundo, thankfully, since we don't need to go to the secret on the right after bridge clip. Um, we can go straight to the one underneath the platform. 
Du kan säkert använda det för att få in i din sällskapsrum. Then once we get out of Slytherin, that's when we enter like the final third of the run, and that's when we're really into the end game. We get Sponge of High and then Chamber Forest. To finish off the run, where Slytherin is the end of the mid game. It's quite a hard level to end it off though. Thankfully, Spongify isn't quite as daunting as it is in Hundo because you don't have a goal time to get. So, you. It's not as bad for new runners. It's, you won't have to play Spongify a second time like in Hundo. There are some cool strats though. I want to hit this early before the cutscene so that it has time to go down. You can hit it again. There's like a wall walk strat to get to this card faster, but it's poison and I hate it, so I don't go for it. Actually, to be fair, I don't think I ever learned it, so I literally couldn't go for it if I wanted to. This is probably not going to work. Okay, it did, barely. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna play this safe and jump here before I drop down. You can drop, like, straight to this, but it's a bit riskier. You can actually soft lock your game. And thankfully in AWC, this cycle is actually pretty free to get. So you don't need to go for the fast drop. When did I play my first HP game? Oh, that was like when I was a child. I don't even know. Probably when I was like four or five. So like I'm talking back like 2002. Like I played HP 1 through 3 in my childhood. Wow, really? That's annoying. Alright, this is a Hess, and we're going to attempt to cancel it by grabbing this ledge right in front of us. And we got it. With a small ledge grab as well, that's really nice. Which one was it? I think 1 was the first one I played, HP1 PC. I also played 4, but I never finished it as a kid. Because I didn't know how to kill the Scroots in the mains. Couldn't figure it out. Alright, we'll grab our last couple cards on the way out here. I actually vividly remember as a kid playing through HP1 PC, like doing like max percent essentially, because I knew so much about the game. Uh, all the way up to Filch. As like as like fast as I can too. Uh, like I would I would do this like a lot. And uh but I would not play Filch because I was like scared of him. Filch scary, man. As like a six year old, like god. Alright, we'll head up to Spongify now. Indeed. Gotta start them start them young. Start their training. Like if you look at uh my other hobby, speed cubing. The Chinese kids, man, now they get coaches at like four four years old. They're they're insane. The world record holder is like eleven. The female world record holder, when she got it, was six. And there's like a five year old who is like top ten in the world. Insane. Just start them young. You can learn so much. Sure. Dude, it was a boot. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go for 
redemption in Spongebob here, and we're going to go for the auto boost route again. And the pockets didn't appear down. Uh, hopefully I don't die to the auto boost. Well, I, I won't die to it because I have four health bars, but hopefully I don't lose time, lose that much time to it. Like I did in uh, the all chest run the other day. Fair enough. Alright. Like I said, fake inputs are really rare in Spongify, so... Like, not even worried. Just making sure I hit the inputs. I, I personally never have gotten one in Spongify, even though I've been running the game for almost 10 years. Which is insane to think about, by the way. I started speedrunning Harry Potter, not including my childhood, which I'm not counting that. I started speedrunning in 2014, December. Alright, we got our auto boost, and we got into the secret. Perfect. Then we want to come here and find these guys. He's in there. That's so annoying, man. Get the hell out here. We want to kill these gnomes so that we can now get the Lumos. It's slightly faster to do the Lumos after instead of before. Unless you get really unlucky like I just did. And then we want to carry this Lumos into the next room so that we don't have to kill the imps. Because three imps... Killing the three imps is slower than the two gnomes. Especially because you have to wait for like the secret with the Lumos here to open. If you do. Oh, come on. Oh, really? What is going on? Fine. Alright. Let's step here. card under here. I'll go for this block snipe here. It's slightly faster. Uh, I don't know if that got it. Did not. That's unfortunate. But you can boost up here. And then just do your moving platform boost. I do fail it. Wall walk. We're gonna get another wall walk here out of a boost this time. Need to hold back here a bit so that we get this ledge grab. And we end up in a wall walk. I did not think that was spell was gonna hit. I just kinda hit that for the memes. Like, I don't need this Lumos at all. <laughs> Want to avoid the middle part there so that we can just walk around. Is the cycle good? Yes, it is. If the cycle's bad, I try to hold back so I don't actually land on the uh, pile there. That's Spongebob. Much, much easier than in Hundo. I do, I do say so myself, and I do. Which is really nice for new runners, which is why this is one of the categories I, I recommend learning. After, like, any percent in Warpless. Before you do Hundo, it's a nice in-between. And it still helps you learn where all the cards are. 
and most of the secrets, but uh, don't have to worry about some of the harder strats in the run. I missed the card. Uh, what do I do here? I think I do this, right? I need this card. <laughs> For obvious reasons. And we're gonna Hess. That Hess angle is amazing, but obviously it's slow because the second try. And we want the Hess uh, out of that sponge pie tile so that we can cast at this chest from ridiculously far away. this tile, open these chests, and then if we do this well, we can just jump right over this banister. I haven't been following the Olympiad. Kind of forgot it was happening. I did remember it was happening. Oh yeah, that's true. Alright, gonna get one more card here, we're gonna get the Flitwick card, and that's just, uh, we can get the Flitwick card basically whenever we want, but it's best here so that we get a good Hess on our way out of the castle after the MB Hager cutscene. And again, just like uh, Dumbledore, this is like the one glitched category where we don't skip the MB Hager cutscene, and the reason for it is because we have so many health bars that it's just slower to try and die in the match than uh, it is to just watch the cutscene. It's nice not having to deal with the RNG. I mean, yeah, Canada's not particularly good at chess. This is not surprising. Even if we had them, like, we're not, we're not that good, mate. And be Hagrid. Decent, not good. These are two very different things. All right, grabbing some more people cards. Sure. And our next bronze, not this one, the one after it, will be a Hess, and we will use it to Hess all the way out of the castle. No 2800 for you. Oh my god. This should bring us all the way out of the castle. We get a bit of a speed boost off of that. So no hand, no forward input. We get all the way out. Open that chest and while it opens, come bust this pressure plate. And grab Mirabella Plunkett. Yeah, I mean, Indy is insane at chess. Let's be honest here. Oh. 
Alright, we skipped this on our way to Quidditch because of routing, so we get it now. It's slightly slower to get it now than on the way to Quidditch. So the backtracking we have to do here. It's like a second and a half extra walking, but it saves like 10 seconds because of Hess routing to get it now. So that's why we do that. Alright, and don't forget the Haggard card. If you do, you gotta walk all the way back here on the final day. It's really slow. Alright, into forest. I'll go for it, fuck it. I'm gonna go for a really hard strat here once. So, hopefully... Oh, let's go, I got it! So that strat is so hard, you have to like, jump at the just the right time, and then the momentum brings you into the ledge grab, and that uh, avoids you having to uh, use the log there, which would allow you to get out really easily. It saves like 4 seconds, but I set it up a bit, so it probably only saved 2 or so. We're gonna just fall down here, take the fall damage, use our health bars, because why not? Oh, oh, it's whatever. It saves a decent amount of time actually to fall down there, so that's why we do it. Come on, come on. bad. I wanted to get up so that I could open the chest. This is our last silver card, which means we Hess. Now I'm gonna have to wait for this chest to open because I didn't get to open it earlier. So never got up there. I got a long life grab, really? I was trying to get a medium there. And we drink our potion there just because we're not going to get another health increase until uh, uh, chamber. And then we get our health increase right before snake, so we don't need to worry about a potion during snake. So we have six health bars, six full health bars. That is actually ri really annoying, so I'm going to grab the frog. How did that guy hit me? Because he died after the fact. Like, we kind of want our health here. It's rather important for a trick. Or a strat coming up. In chamber we can save like 5 seconds if we have uh, at least 240 health, which is 2.4 health bars. Ah, my god. Slightly early. Ah, my god. Everything's early. Newt, please. Alright, raise your volumes for Aragog. He's really loud. <laughs> I actually didn't fail that for once. I've been failing it recently, I don't know why. Oh my god, really? Somehow Aragog hit me there, I don't really know how. Another not so great Aragog fight, honestly. But it's okay. Now we get to go to the gold cards, a reward for collecting all the silver cards. We get to collect more cards. Hopefully I get a frog out of one of these. I did get one. Oh, come on. I'm gonna lose time because he juked me. That's okay. Could have got it on the way out, but I'd rather there. Rather get it first. Alright. In to level. 
This level actually has like some hard boosts. Um, it's nice and fun. This first one's actually kind of hard. Right here. Because you want to avoid taking damage, so you don't want to overboost. But you can land on the rafters if you do. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. It feels like empty because there's nothing but the cards. There's like no beans to get collect. Nothing else to cast at other than like the puzzles of each of the rooms. Feels like they could have added more. Ah, I don't know about a boss fight. It's a reward, right? Collecting all these silvers. It seemed weird to have a boss. Especially because it's after Aragog. It's forced to be after Aragog because there's silver cards in Forest and most casual players probably aren't gonna get all the silvers on like the first go everywhere so they're gonna have to buy some and they'll do that like after snake so like you've already had the bosses but of course we can get to here before snake if you know where everything is Don't know why I did. No, I'm supposed to do this well. Never mind. Ignore me. That's what most people do anyway, so it's fine. There we go. And just the Harry Potter card left. And as you can see, we do have over 240 health left. We actually took no damage from any of the boosts during gold cards, which is nice. So we can do the strat at the beginning of uh of chamber here save a few seconds but before we enter chamber we need to grab a couple final cards here down here we open this chest and we'll take this spongify tile so it's a decently recent development to take that one and then we're gonna get the card uh entering chamber here That's fair, you do, it's true, you don't need beans, but beans are cool. Grab this card here. And then if we just, uh, because we have over 240 health, we can just fall down here instead of going across and taking this bunch of fly tile. First try, let's go. Cool. So that's actually the optimal strat if you're running the IL of Chamber, because uh, it's faster than going over the Spongify tile like we do in any percent. But of course we don't have three health bars in any percent, which would be the minimum you need to be able to do that. That was a really solid chamber one, not gonna lie. Not a glot, barely. Nice, got that boost. Alright, time for our final card of the game. As you can see, we still only have five uh, scars, which means we have less than 50 bronze wizard cards but we need all 50 of course we got all the silver ones because we were allowed into the gold wizard cards challenge and then we just got all the gold ones in the, ch the aptly the aptly named challenge what the heck am i doing i jumped way late there uh so if i do this hopefully he grabs perfect first try totally you get a nice Hess cancel there at the end of the run. That one's really hard because you need to like time your forward input so that you don't have too much speed. Because if you have too much speed, you land on the uh, the second Lumos platform there and then uh, end up falling into the light beam and just dying. All right. All we have left is Snake. We have found all 
101 wizard cards in this game. Um, so we'll defeat Snake here and then finish the run. Alright, one more boost for good luck. Perfect. Alright, and Snake, Snake is free because we have 600 health. <laughs> So we can just take all the damage we want from these flames. Literally doesn't matter. We have essentially zero chance of dying. So we can take as much as we want. I don't think that kills. Yeah, one health, one or two. All right, hopefully I don't fail this two cycle now. That's a good hit. Take damage, take damage, take damage, take damage. Dude, I did like 70% there. 70, 75%. If I don't get a fucking a two cycle with that. There we go. Nice and easy two cycle to end the run. Alright, time is on the load screen when I enter the Great Hall here. I actually didn't even take that much damage. I took less than a scar during the actual fight. All right, and time in three, two, one. Yo, Pax is awake. We have a host. Oh my god, we have a host. We've been hostless. Tyst. Det är faktiskt inte för sent att förlora i lek. Pax. Ceremonin för elevhemspokalen innebär slutet på det här. So yeah, that was this was a uh, this was me replacing Sammy in uh HP2 PC AWC because Australian internet is interesting apparently for the second year in a row. Så att vi tar hem den i år igen. Ja, du och Harry räddade Hogwarts. Vi tror igen. I heard a pax. Where is he? Yes. Good morning. <laughs> morning. I I've, I've had <laughs> 3 hours of sleep in the past 40. Um, Probably now also. <laughs> Let's go. I, I, I think I passed out like two hours ago or something. <laughs> Insomnia buddies. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for replacing Sammy. Um, yeah. Thanks to Australian internet, we did not get to hear uh, Sammy's best part impression today, but um, very you sad. managed it just as well. <laughs> uh, it significantly worse commentary wise, but. Probably it's a slightly fine. better run run wise, but that's okay. That's okay, yeah. Um, and you are gonna be back just in a minute with uh, another all wizard cards run, but this time in HP three. Yeah, remind me why I agreed to do a run at one thirty in the morning again, because uh, I I don't understand that. That I cannot tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 that you must know yourself. I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that. Don't worry, it's hard. It's hard to find a reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm just insane. Uh, aren't we all? We wouldn't run Harry Potter games if we weren't, so... True, 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 true. <laughs> right. Um, do you have any last words before we head into the transmission here? Draco peep. Draco peep. That's some good finishing words. All right, don't go anywhere. We will be right back after a small transition, and uh, we will be back. <laughs> 